guys welcome back to another video in the series structure lesson and this video is about the prague school of structureless the most characteristic feature of the prague school of structureless is that it combines functionalism and structurelism you have, we have already covered structurelism and if you haven't watched the video please go now and watch now structurelism here means that the function of the language determines the structure of language and what are languages functions well there are three functions identified first one cognitive function like the word suggest cognitive it conveys information or factual information it would be something you would find in a um, medical journal or a mathematical textbook second one expressive function like the word suggest it expresses the emotion something that you would find in a poetry then third point cognitive function that means it is used to address people or to bring about some change to make it more clear imagine these words coming out of a doctor who is out from uh, an operation theater well his heart had broken into a billion pieces what we but we pieced it together but someone's love cured him and his heart is brimming with joy it does sound weird because a lot of words sound misplaced the doctor talks in a completely different way heart in the cognitive function mode the organ heart but when you use it in a poetry you use it as an expressive uh, in an expressive mode heart would mean your emotions your heart breaking would mean that you are in really bad emotional pain so this is how it's clear every function determines the structure of language example when in disgrace with fortune and men's eyes i alone bewail my outcast state you know it's different you don't talk like that to a friend this is found in shakespearean sonnet the function is different the sub structure is also different thanks for watching if you liked my video do like and subscribe